Yaho everyone, I am Super Bianchi. Welcome back to my channel. I had a really long day yesterday and saw a lot of things about the world that I had seen on the TVs but never really conceptualized. Because as you notice, this is not Miami. I made a series of videos yesterday cataloging the journey to the airport of leaving Spain and I was so so very excited but when I got to Portugal I had made the decision that maybe it wasn't the right time to fly to Miami the flight wasn't delayed the flight wasn't canceled but there is a hurricane on the East Coast and yeah I think it would be pretty exciting to get stranded on a raft in the middle of the ocean and wait for people to come rescue me, but that's too much of a risk. So I decided to give myself a layover by rescheduling my flight. But when I got to the check-in counter of where our gate was, there were a lot of people that were really frustrated. Three of the passengers on our plane also chose not to go to Miami on this Portugal flight. At least I thought they chose because when I talked to the people that were operating the flight they had to send my bag to the lost and found and when I went to the lost and found I met these people and they were not US citizens they didn't have a passport or a green card so they were denied entry into America the first girl worked on a yacht company so she just had to talk to her yacht company and she disappeared, I don't know where she went, but the second girl was going to see her family in Miami and she had just flown from Amsterdam to Portugal just to get denied access into the country. And wow, like, I mean, I knew about this stuff before, but seeing someone brought to tears at the airport because they didn't know that non-US citizens weren't allowed to enter the United States and their family in America told them that it was okay, it was hard on me too. And I tried my best to help her out. Like, I'm goofy, I'm positive, I'm happy, but, but in moments like that, positivity, optimism, happiness, I don't know if they really helped the person. And I mean, I really did try to help. I booked her a room at the hotel that I'm staying at right now, which is a very nice hotel over in Lipson, by the way. Um, I helped her get her bags, we went to the customer service together, but it just went from bad to worse because at the customer service line, she was told that it was her fault and that she would have to buy a completely different plane ticket to get back to Amsterdam. Everyone, I think that, you know, we see a lot of these things on the news, we see a lot of these things on social media, but when you actually experience them, it alters your worldview. And it's not always easy, it's not always happy, it's not always fun. Believe me, there's a lot of stuff out here that we don't know about that's going on behind the scenes that is pretty rough. But remember in those times that you'll be okay. You'll be okay, time will pass, the world will get better. This coronavirus pandemic will ease up eventually and we will move on. Everyone will move on. So that's about what happened yesterday. I woke up today at around like 3 o'clock and it was really weird because I didn't want to go back to sleep. I hopped into some Twitch streams, talked to some people, and then I went down to the desk and the check-in counter, right? And I started talking to the person that was working there. I planned out my whole day. We're going to go to the aquarium today. We're going to go to the ancient art museum. We're going to eat some Portuguese food. Then tomorrow we're going to go to the beach and Bellux Tower. It's some really cool stuff. But after everything I've seen from leaving Spain, it's just hard to be like motivational and like energetic. I'm kind of like mellowed out. And it's crazy because a lot of the best experiences that I've made in Europe have happened when I was leaving Europe. Quarantine aside, I still think that the experiences I've made in leaving Europe are stronger and more meaningful than when I actually came to Europe. Don't always focus on the beginning, focus on the end. What do you want to take away from your journey? 
What do you want to take away from the path that you're walking? These questions are so important to ask ourselves. And I would hope after this video, we might get the courage to do the same. Anyway, everyone, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to be filming a lot. And um, I'm excited. I can't lie. I'm excited for the rest of the day. But I'll, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.